All right, we're with Dr. Bombi, and uh, tell me, what are we? What room are we in, and, and what are we? What's going on behind us? We're looking at a cardiac PET scan. Right now, we have a patient undergoing uh, PET scanning to ascertain the cardiac health of his um, blood flow to the heart. And this machine is uh, the first of its kind in Kern County. And, and tell me a little bit about this investment and what this uh, what this machine will uh, do for cardiac care here in Kern County. I think this is an excellent investment for the uh, for the community because it helps us uh, elevate the stress testing from what normally was the benchmark. Previously, we used to do stress testing with the cardiolide, and uh, that's about 90, 85 to 90 percent accurate. This brings us to a much higher level of accuracy. So uh, we would traditionally miss a few patients who would have heart disease, especially the ones with very high risk of heart disease uh, who had multivessel disease. It helps capture those patients, and also uh, sometimes we will pick up patients who didn't have heart disease, and that would mislead us uh, towards an invasive strategy doing angiograms on patients who didn't necessarily need them. And that uh, obviously makes it more expensive and uh, sometimes injurious to the patients who are undergoing unnecessary angiograms. And this piece of equipment, uh, is, you guys have been working on this for about a year. Uh, to have it finally installed, uh, you know, what does it mean for you as a physician and, and how excited are you about having this equipment? Anytime we have information we can use more effectively, you know, we feel uh, accomplished. Uh, it eliminates, um, uh, you know, it, it previously we were left to choose, um, uh, make black and white decisions uh, on gray information. Now it helps us uh, discriminate uh, more accurately and makes a lot of difference, uh, eliminates uh, uh, wrong diagnosis on either side. And you told me uh, coming into this that the stress test that normally that people would do uh, would, about a third of folks, wouldn't, it wouldn't apply to, but this certainly helps this, right? The regular treadmill testing with an electrocardiogram has about 65% accuracy, so about one-third of the patient uh, that either uh, are yes or no may be in the wrong column. That eliminates the wrong column, so PET scanning uh, makes the accuracy of the test much closer to 100%.